I'm currently filming this at like 9.30 at night. Uh, so uh, forgive me if I'm not quite at the energy I need to be at. Also forgive if the audio isn't quite what it is usually. I did decided uh, I didn't want to use the uh, external mic. No, this isn't an external mic. The, just the microphone you see at the, probably at the bottom of my videos. Uh, I didn't want to have to do that. I should probably shut off that. Yeah, I'm all over the place right now. Ugh. All right, I decided to film this video right now. Oh, it's gonna get hot too. It's gonna get hot too without all the air on. Let's, let's get to filming this video. Hey everyone, today we are going to be talking about puff painting the TASM 2 costume. Now, I've already done three great videos on puff painting different kinds of Spider-Man costumes. They've mostly been about the MCU costumes because I've either had to uh, paint all the dots, paint all the lines on the black parts, or I've had to puff print different kinds of bands on the costume. And that's just because of the complexity of the MCU costumes decide to have a lot of different textures and a lot of different things just going on in their costumes. And you know, some people might need help with the, you know, puff painting of those costumes. I still get views on that, I still get comments on those videos to this day. Uh, I'm glad people are watching them and learning something through those videos. But for this video, I, I don't know what you're really gonna learn. You know, it's really simple this time around. It's literally just this. Yep, that's pretty much it. That simple. It's nothing really, you know, it's just puff painting the web lines. I'm literally just taking my light table and shining a light through it and puff painting the web lines. And that is, of course, after I have drawn on every single red brick. Oh, gosh. Yeah, but that's basically it. That I'm, that's all I'm really doing for this costume. However, if you guys don't want to spend hundreds of dollars, you know, on this expensive textured fabric. You can easily just puff paint all these bricks that you see on here with some puff paint. It's a good way to save money. It just takes a lot more work, but you know, it's doable. All you would really need to do is grab some of this specific fabric. It's the closest one I could find to this shade of blue and then grab some black metallics. Grab some metallics black puff paint and puff paint that you know it's very simple and you know it's it saves you a lot of money but not a lot of time now I know I said I was going to be puff printing the logos onto this costume so I tried it it didn't work out for me um, the first time I tried it it wasn't exactly smooth on the spider of the body I didn't like it um, it was, it was fine, but just wasn't at the, but it just wasn't at the quality I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be 100% smooth, not just smooth everywhere else, but a little bit wrinkly on the body. I didn't want that. And so I tried it again, but instead of using craft foam for the kind of molding, I used styrofoam. Now, the, but now what the styrofoam allowed for it was more rigid so it allowed me to have a more solid kind of mold piece so I can pick it up better instead of having to like fumble with the taking off the craft foam because it's really flexible and you know it's not rigid enough. So I did it and it turned out worse somehow. I think it was because the styrofoam was too thick and it globbed up too much puff paint so when I lifted it up it kind of just let everything be really thick and thin in some places. It just wasn't a good puff print pull, so that failed. And that's when I kind of decided I was gonna give up on that and, you know, just, you know, give up on it. But then something came over me and I was like, I need to try one more time, just see if I can do it. So I did it a third time and it just, uh, it didn't work. It somehow came out worse than the first two. So I abandoned it and I just decided I wasn't going to even try to puff print 
anything on this costume. I couldn't afford to keep trying and failing and wasting fabric. I wasn't gonna try and fail and waste fabric, especially this fabric. Uh-uh, I wasn't gonna do that, so that plan has gone out the window. So since there isn't really much to this video, I'll give you guys some updates on what's happening with the costume so far. So right now, what I have done are the two back pieces, one arm, one hand, both thumbs, and the mask, of course. That's pretty much all I have done. Uh, I have all the bricks drawn and the puff paint done on those pieces. What I still have to do is the other arm, the other hand, both boots, the belt, the torso, and the neck piece. Now, that's a lot of work to do, but I can honestly get each section done in one day. It's just, it's a really straining on my eyes because I'm just staring at light shining through my eyes. So that's why it just takes me about a day to do each piece, like with the drawing the bricks and then pop painting it. It just takes a whole day to do it. And you know, so technically that should take me about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It should take me about a week to do each piece if I just didn't stop. But of course I'm gonna stop and have breaks, you know. So it might be a couple weeks till I even have that done. So the next thing to do after I finish drawing on the bricks and puff painting is to sew the whole thing up. Now, sewing is gonna take a little while, because, well, Sewing takes a while, and then it and it doesn't help that I'm going to be, you know, filming every section and you know, having to set up the camera and then the light and you know it, it's just a whole production thing. So adding that to sewing time, it's going to take a little bit longer. So and that's the next part of this video series, and I don't know when that will be done. So you guys might have to wait a couple months in order to get the next few videos. And while that is happening, I am in fact working on the web shooters. I actually, where the stage I am at, I added some, um, what do you call this? <laughs> I'm all over the place. But yeah, I'm currently sanding these pieces right now. Um, actually, I did that like a month ago. So yeah, these pieces are in fact in production, I guess. Um, but it's just a matter of finding the time to like, sand them and then paint them and everything. And now since I'm not gonna be puff printing both spiders onto the costume, I decided to order some T-Jack front and back spiders along with the web trigger they has now available. So you guys will get an extra video. That video wasn't really gonna be planned, but now it is. So yeah, you guys are gonna get an extra video of me gluing on different things from T-Jack. Congrats guys. And then the last piece would be the boots I'm gonna do. So I already have them designed by Sensational Spidey. It's just a matter of me printing them out, then molding them, and then casting them in rubber. I'm gonna learn how to do all of that, and you guys are gonna learn along with me, and that should be fun and also hard. And that will be the last thing I do. And then after that, it's just the reveal video, and then the Tazen 2 series will be done. And I'm sure there'll be other videos on random things that I'll be talking about, but as for right now, that's the lineup of videos I currently have. Um, I'm sorry, I can't be specific with dates. It's just one of those things where it's I'm working on them as I'm working on them. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I'm sweating my ass off right now because there are three different light sources on me and no fan and pretty sure the AC is off for some reason. But, and I, yeah, just, um, that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.